In previous videos, I defined and contrasted gamification and game-based learning and explained the power of games to model real-world knowledge and concepts. Today, I want to share a framework that helps researchers describe the models that games present in detail called formal analysis. The following two videos We'll explore how formal analysis allows you to break down game models into concepts and components that can be explored by researchers and educators. As a researcher, when I study a well-designed learning game, I need a method to deeply understand how learners engage with it as a model. This requires describing all of the game's components, how they interact, and the detailed behavior of the game system. By doing this effectively, Game learning researchers can reliably map a game's content and player interactions, ensuring consistent and repeatable descriptions of how games function and how players interact with them. Formal analysis is this process of systematically breaking down a game and its modeled elements into components and structures that can be clearly described. Similarly, observing how players interact with these components and structures is known as formal analysis of gameplay. There are different formal analysis frameworks, but today we'll focus on a higher level framework called MDA, which stands for Mechanics, Dynamics, and Aesthetics, and discuss how to apply it to a game. MDA was introduced in 2001 at the Game Developers Conference by Hunica, LeBlanc, and Zubek as a framework to bridge the gap between game design and game research. It provides a high-level, holistic way for game scholars to analyze games. MDA breaks games into three conceptual components, each viewed differently by players and game designers. One, mechanics. These are the basic rules that define how the game operates and what players can and cannot do, like running, jumping, managing resources, etc. Two, Dynamics. These are the interactions between the rules within the game environment and the player, forming the game's system. And three, aesthetics. The emotional response or feelings that players experience while engaging with the game system, like fun, challenge, fellowship, or discovery. This framework formalizes the connection between what players experience and how designers construct games linking player engagement, such as rules, systems, and fun, with the design elements of mechanics, dynamics, and aesthetics, hence the name MDA. As a simple example, let's look at the game Poker through the MDA framework. In Poker, the goal of the game is to win rounds of play by building the highest value set of cards. The mechanics of Poker include things such as shuffling, betting, swapping out cards, and set building. These are the things you do in poker, the mechanics. These mechanics lead to specific dynamics in poker. For example, strategizing which cards to swap, risk taking and risk management based on your hand, trying to guess opponent's hands, and bluffing. These classic poker dynamics are enabled and driven by the mechanics of the game. And finally, this leads to the aesthetics of poker. In poker, these are a sense of challenge, sensations of suspense, tension, and in a social game, maybe even fellowship. So you can see how the mechanics of poker, betting, swapping, and set building, create the dynamics like risk management and bluffing, which in turn generate the aesthetics that make the game engaging. Ultimately, it's these aesthetic feelings and experiences that draw players to certain games. And recognizing this is key to understanding why some learning games remain engaging to players and some fail. Understanding MDA as a high-level formal framework helps designers, researchers, and educators analyze games through the specific characteristics that drive play and engagement. Breaking a game down into its MDA components enables researchers to make informed decisions about their methods 
and better predict how players will experience the game as a learning environment. In the next video, we will explore a more complex formal analysis approach that examines a game's model in minute detail, allowing for the study of player learning at the level of specific game components. Stay tuned!